On the pond, Niner Heavy, Adis is Alpha. Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth and in today's video we will be discussing about the discontinued approach technique in an Airbus A320 that allows the crew to effectively abort the approach without selecting toga detent. Normally to initiate a go-around, flight crew sets the thrust levers to the toga detent. The engine thrust then increases to the maximum available thrust. Setting the thrust levers to the toga detent is important because the lever movement to toga engages the correct FMA modes and then the FMS sequence is the missed approach guidance that is pre-coded in the FMS navigation database. However, in some cases, maximum thrust is often not required to perform a safe go-around and at some airfields the missed approach altitude is quite low. For such situations some operators have developed their own customized go-around procedures. These procedures have resulted in unexpected aircraft trajectory and energy situations. Therefore, Airbus developed a technique based on the knowledge of all associated aircraft systems, to achieve the objective of performing a go-around without applying toga thrust. The technique, called discontinued approach, enables the flight crew to abort an approach without setting the thrust levers to the toga detent. The FCU altitude during a descent and approach is normally reduced in steps, with ATC clearance, until the initial approach altitude is reached. At glide slope capture or final approach commencement the FCU altitude is set to the missed approach altitude. The flight crew uses this selected FCU altitude for the decision making. At or above the FCU selected altitude, use either the go around SOP for the discontinued approach technique. When below the FCU selected altitude, use the go around SOP. If the flight crew wants to apply the discontinued approach technique, they must go through the five following steps. 1. Call cancel approach. 2. Leave the thrust levers in the climb detent. 3. Deselects approach modes. If a flight crew aborts an approach during an ILS approach without setting the thrust levers to the toga detent, the auto flight system remains in approach mode with lock and GS modes engaged. If the aircraft enters the capture zone of ILS, the aircraft may follow the trajectory of the ILS. The false ILS trajectory could be based on the secondary beam of the ILS at 9 or 15 degrees. As a result, the aircraft can perform a very abrupt trajectory change to follow the secondary GS beam. 4. Manage the aircraft trajectory in vertical and lateral axis. Depending on the ATC orders, select a heading, or re-engage nav if the intention is to fly the missed approach in the FMS flight plan. Select the appropriate vertical mode to descend or to level off according to the altitude assigned by the ADC. Select a new speed according to the situation. Five, enter a new destination in the FMS, if required. If the flight crew intends to fly the missed approach and overflies the last waypoint of the approach, the FMS considers that the destination in the flight plan has been achieved. The flight crew will have to enter a new destination, which could be the same airport or a diversion airport. Now let's perform a discontinued approach on the aircraft. Lufthansa 123 you're cleared for the approach. Cleared for the approach Lufthansa 123.
Lufthansa 123, go around. Cancel approach. Going around, Lufthansa 123. Thank you for watching, remember a good pilot is always learning, signing off. Zero 03 is clear to Los Angeles International, fly runway heading, Kennedy 1.5 BME, right turn 100, and at file, climb 5000, expect 30010, zero zero mishap, just about 3343. United 703, ADIS is Alpha, contact ground when you're ready to Thank you very much, United 703.